It's my pleasure to present for the ITI World Symposium Young Breakout Session with talented new generation speakers. My name is Teresa Sun, currently working as a periodontal specialist in Taiwan. I'm also an ITI fellow and former ITI scholar at Harvard University. My topic today is to graft or not to graft. I'm going to share some of the insight with you regarding how to utilize autogenous gingival graft as a powerful tool for peri-implant soft tissue management. As a periodontist, we focus a lot on the pink aesthetic. Recently, more and more patients present to our clinic with soft tissue complications around the dental implants, such as the lack of carinized gingiva or soft tissue deficiency, loss of interdental popular implant exposure, and gingival recessions, or sometimes male position of the implant. This kind of complication is even more challenging to handle when patient has implant in the aesthetic zone and with a very high smile line. I would like to share a clinical scenario with you. One of the patients presented to my clinic, a young 30-year-old healthy female about to get married in a couple months. She noticed the grayish color after the implant placement, and she's not happy about it and asking for some possible treatment. How can we help her? Is soft tissue management and augmentation with the gingival graft around the dental implant a possible solution? Before we start getting into detail, I would like to share some basic concept. We know that periodontal and peri-implant soft tissue share some structural similarity, but also some key differences. The peri-implant phenotype encompasses a soft tissue components, and the parameters include the peri-implant carinized mucosal width, the mucosal thickness, and the supracrestal tissue height, which is marked on the screen as a blue, red, and green.